the breath is like the buoyancy. You know, we utilize for us to lift our bodies off the ground without too much effort, you know, without wearing our joints and the muscles. And in the energetic sense, we call these techniques yeah, the bandhas, particularly the Udiyana Bandha. All right, so the inhalation being ascending, and I've talked about this countless of times, the energy is rising. And at the top of the breath, there's a mild clip. Uh, that's where the body is at its lightest, at the top of the breath. And then you will utilize the top of the breath in pushing away. Of course, yeah, you will be doing these tutorials uh, as a intermediate or even advanced practitioners, uh, you've done the handstand already, probably you're looking for lighter ways of doing the technique. Okay, so in the forward bend, let me angle. Okay. I'll approach it in a way that you know, we, I open the legs wide. Before I can really do it, the legs together, but I've transitioned already the session practice that I can't be bothered. I use the breath and then by doing seemingly wide circular motion, swaying up and down, that's how I experience the new lightness. Okay, now, with the feet about hip width or even wider, you can lightly dangle up and down. All right, so let's apply the breath first. As you inhale, shift forward to the direction of the breath. All right, so you may adjust a little bit forward or closer depending on you know, the openness of your hips. Yeah, but for me, I'll try to dangle and inhale. And then probably this is the distance of my breath, or maybe a little bit closer. So the first few trial is like your um, testing, yeah. And then we can you know, uh, try one. You can try one time, and then if you need to adjust, just do that. But the principle is the same. Inhale, and at the top, you're gonna clip it. Good. And then while you're clipping it, press and then draw yeah, your uh, hips upwards, and then you'll be able to lightly suspend your hips up in the end, your feet will just lift off the ground, and then progressively just go up all the way over the shoulders. So such that, exhale first, and soften, inhale, that's the point of pressing, yeah? And you don't wanna wait too long, otherwise the breath will feel heavy, and then when the breath is heavy, your body will feel heavy as well. So seizing that important specific point, okay? Uh, you may rock forward and back. Okay, inhale, push, and then your legs will lift off the ground, and, and then here you can exhale. Now breathing in, continue breathing up until your legs are fully stacked over your body. And then here you breathe, Inhale, exhale, inhale, push, exhale. And then to come down, inhale, support yourself, inhale, flowing, floating, and exhale down. All right, so those two uh, specific points. At the top of the breath, push. And then when the hips are up in the air, exhale and then just continue breathing all the way up until your body is stacked over itself. And then while you're there, breathe. And then even if you're holding there, you're upside down, but the breath goes up to the hips. It's always ascending, it's really always ascending. It makes the body light. And you feel that, yes, you're engaging the muscles and the bones and the shoulders, but they're just for you to keep the balance and then you don't topple over. Yeah, but the predominant sensation is light, like you're floating. And then if you feel that sensation, it means your Udiyana Bandha is quite strong already. And then to release, inhale. As you fold down the hips, you inhale, so you keep the buoyancy inside. And then when your feet are touching the ground, yeah, you exhale the breath out. Right. This might take time to settle, the key, the secret is do it over and over and over again until your brain remembers it like they become part of you organically. Good. Hope that helps. Yeah. Good luck and I'll see you in the next one. Namaste.